Hi, my name is Mr. Kettle and we are going to have another session of grammar drills. And today we're going to be looking at adjectives, verbs and adverbs. Those things which help to build our sentences to make them much more effective and interesting. The first thing we're going to look at is an adjective. It's a, it describes the noun, which we've also called the subject, and gives us a little bit more information. In this case, the subject or the noun is the cat, and the information that the adjective gives us is the colour of it. It's the ginger cat, ginger being the adjective. Now, you can add to your description by using one, as in the case above, two, or even three adjectives to make your writing really interesting and gives us lots of information about our noun or subject. In this case, we find out that the cat is fat, fluffy, and ginger by the use of three adjectives. Now, a verb is a doing word, it's an action. It's what the noun or the subject is doing. It can also be a being word, given as the state of the noun. So look at these examples. Well, the ginger cat jumped. It's action, what it's doing, the verb is jumping. And that's obviously the past tense version. Uh, in the second sentence, the ginger cat was happy. Well, its state of being is the was, and it was happy. Now, we can't just throw subjects and verbs around willy-nilly. We have to make sure that there's an agreement between them. Otherwise, your sentence won't make sense. Now, verbs need a pronoun or a noun to be doing the action. You know, we need something that's making the action. And the verb needs to agree with the noun. If the nouns are singular, then the verb must also be singular. If you look at this example here, the cat was happy. Here we have more than one cat. However, it's the singular verb. So that doesn't make any sense. It has to be the cats were happy or the cat was happy. How about this? They likes going camping. Well, here we have the subject or the noun being they, and that's a plural. There's more than one person, more than one subject here. And likes, therefore, also needs to be the plural, which is like. And it should read, they like going camping. Adverbs, then. Well, adverbs are really, really useful. And you've got to think of it as kind of a, an adjective verb type of hybrid. It describe, describes how the action is done. So in this case, you've got the... Uh, the adverb carefully is used in three different areas of the same sentence. So the ginger cat jumped carefully off the roof. We've got the noun, the cat, and what it's doing is jumping. We know that it's ginger from the adjective, but how is it jumping? Oh, it's jumping carefully off the roof. We could put athletically, powerfully, to tell us how it jumped. The ginger cat carefully jumps off the roof, or carefully, the ginger cat jumped off the roof. Now, adverbs tend to end L-Y. However, not always. This is English after all. Um, certain words such as friendly end in L-O-Y, but are in fact adjectives. It is a bit, isn't it? So adverbs also describe adjectives such as quite, nearly, really, and very. They're all adverbs. And the way to figure this out is that you need to know what an adjective is. It's the word that describes the subject. We studied it at the start of this little session here. Words that add more information to the adjective or tell the reader how an action is done or when it's done, well, they're adverbs. So bear that in mind. Adverbial phrases. Well, this sounds really complicated, but it isn't really. They work just the same way as your adverbs. Apart from the, rather than using one word to tell us how something is done, they might use more than one. Examples of adverbial phrases are next year or as soon as possible. You probably use these in your writing already without even knowing what they are. So what's the point? That's a good question. However, the effective use of adjectives, verbs and adverbs can take your writing and understanding to a whole new level. And after all, that's what we want, isn't it? We want people to understand what we mean when in our writing and when we speak. So what's the take home? Well, an adjective describes a noun or a pronoun, also known as a subject. A verb is an action or state of being of the noun. The subject and the verb must always be in agreement. Adverbs describe the adjective or how and when the action is being performed. And adverbs tend to end in ly, but not always. Thanks very much for listening and I'll see you next time.